In this video, we provide the solution to question number seven from the practice final exam for Math 1060, in which case we're asked to find the area of the provided triangle. Notice that we have the three side lengths of the triangle, two, two, and two times the square root of three, uh, in which case we need to find the area. Haran's formula comes to mind. Um, notice this diagram is not drawn to scale, and since we have two and two, it is an isosceles triangle. So we could try to use uh, like a 30, 60, 90 triangle approach if we wanted to, but we're just going to use Haran's formula in this, in this situation. So the area here is going to equal the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, where S is the semi-perimeter. It's the sum of the three sides divided by 2. So we end up with 2 plus 2 plus 2 times the square root of 3 over 2. This gives us 4 plus 2 root 3 over 2, or in other words, 2 plus the square root of 3. That's our S value there. And so when we look at all the possibilities, we're going to end up with 2 plus the square root of 3. Uh, we're going to then get S minus, in this case, 2. That gives us the square root of 3. We're going to get S minus, again, this uh, minus 2, right? You're going to get the square root of 3 again. And then finally, you're going to get S minus here, 2 root 2. That's going to give us 2 minus the square root of 3, like so. Now, notice the square root of 3 times itself is going to give us 3. And then if you take the square root, or 2 plus root 3 times it by 2 minus root 3, that's its conjugate. They actually end up with 4 minus 3. This is still inside of the square root, of course. And so you end up with the square root of 3 as the area of this triangle. And so we would select choice A.